Hello my fellow cartoonists, we've got a bit of a challenge today, let's see if we can get it done in this short space of time. You've done such brilliant work so far, this one came through on the comments as a request, it's a parachuting tortoise of all things. It's going to test us this one so let's get our pencil sharpened and have a go. We're going to start with our usual round eyes, they're so versatile these we can use them for any creature, anything from a fly to a human to a dog anything so there's the eyes you've drawn them before so let's draw them again and the nose that's coming down again this could be human at this stage but we're going to stop there and this is more like a cartoon tortoise sort of nose I'm going to make it a, a happy tortoise so I'm going to give it a little smile if you want to do this to start with you can do change its expression later so it's a smiling tortoise face. At this stage it could be a bird, it could be anything. But now I'm going to give it an open smile. And we can see the inside of its mouth if I put this line here. And we can colour that pink or whichever colour you want for the inside of its mouth. So I'm going to put some nostrils on the end of its nose. That's roughly where they are on a tortoise. On ours anyway. A little bit of a chin, just a line going down, that'll do for that. Just work along with me on this. I've got quite a bit to draw here with aeroplanes and all sorts, so just give it a go. We're going to have a nice curved line here for the bottom of its face, or its chin. So a nice curved line there going down to that, that little chin underneath the mouth. Again, the bags under the eyes give it a little comedy look, and a little bit more detail, which is nice to look at when you're drawing your cartoon. So we're going to do the neck now, not really so much of the back of the head, it's just the, the neck goes up from the eyes. And the other side of the neck, the bottom part of the neck, just going from that sort of jaw area there. It can be as thin or as thick as you like, you can have a play with that. Just do whatever suits you on that one. Again, it can't be wrong because it's a cartoon and you're going to put your own stamp on it. Here we're drawing an arch and this is where the head and the neck disappears into it's like a little tunnel in the shell we're making it a little bit bolder by doing a double line and it's like a fold in the shell to give it a little bit more emphasis on there which we can it's like a like a collar that we draw on uh, on somebody's shirt on a on a person's shirt and we're giving it that cartoon look so it's a bit of a triangle sort of shape there so if you can if you can follow that we can shade it in later add all the details later so I've got the eyes and the head and I'm going to give it some dopey eyes which I always like to give my creatures. They always look a bit half asleep, a little bit sleepy. But if you want to do the bright eyes, if you want to do the pug type eyes or the big shiny bits that we, we, we've done before, you can do that. So now it's going to be the shell. Now I'll move my hand so you can see what I'm doing. A great big N shape. You know I like to use letters that we're used to the shapes of. It's like a big arc, like an, a big end sort of shape. Um, it can be as high or as long or as big as you like. There's no right or wrongs with this as long as you've got roughly that shape. And we're working okay here, we're getting through this. Now, the little holes where its arms disappear, and we're gonna do another arch, a smaller arch. A line across for its body. This isn't its tummy yet, this is like a divi dividing bit between the top of the shell and the bottom. So then we've got another arch. You could put a pair of wheels on there if you're drawing a super fast speedy tortoise. So again I'm doubling up that line to make it look like some kind of uh, collar or, or cuff. And I'm just closing up those lines there. So we've now got a nice, compact looking tortoise. These lines go forward slightly. They fill the arch. There's not much room to spare. And then a little bend in the leg. That's the, that's the way the, the sort of joint bends and the same that way. And that's the way a, a tortoise is set up to push its way along. Uh, push that great big heavy shell off the ground. Okay, so I'll round that off just to finish off. 
no feet really but I'm going to put some toe, toenails on the end of there in a minute but as long as you've got that basic shape that bend in the leg that would be great because it's sort of dangling free because he's hanging from a parachute now to use your M shapes to put some toenails on the end M the shapes again nice arches and that's when you're not familiar with uh, drawing cartoons think about the shapes that you used to draw in like letters and things like that this is the actual tummy or underside of the tortoise and you can see that shell dividing into two there the bottom and the top little tail on the back got a little pointy tail sticking out and now for the the front leg that's in the background we're just going to see a little bit of it again we don't have to draw the whole thing because it's mostly hidden by the main body and the main shell M's again for the toenails and the same there you just see a little bit of that back leg hidden behind the shell and there you've got a tortoise now what I'm going to do next is a bit tricky so don't worry if you can't do it these bits are okay on the underside just do some lines that's the underside of the the shell now the top of the shell is a little bit more tricky and try it in pencil because this is quite quite difficult to do I'm doing a line down across and up okay and from there I'm doing another line coming down and across and this is like the armor plating like the sections of the shell on the back the way it's set up and if you do those two to start with you can kind of follow on from it from the corners of those little plates you can just do lines in different directions it doesn't have to be the same as mine but it does add quite a bit of detail to the cartoon if it's too detailed for you just leave the black the leave the shell blank and just shade it one color but if you want to have a go at this you may as well if you do it in pencil to start with just give yourself a chance these are just lines coming off in different directions but all the time they're making these little plates like a six-sided shape there we go give it a go and then you can color those in when I shade them I shade them all a little bit differently so it gives a bit of texture to the cartoon um, and these plates they have like a little pointy bit on the top but instead of trying to make that I just put like an E the letter E a small E not a capital E a little curly one and when you stop looking at it like it's an E like somebody seen that cartoon for the first time it doesn't look like an E it looks like the shape of the the pattern on the on the actual plates so onto the parachute I hope you something like caught up with me if you pause it if you like just to catch up don't don't be panicking thinking you've got to keep up with this 10 minute thing but um, just pause it to catch up so another arch like that at the back of the shell another C shape uh, another N shape sorry I suppose it's a C on its side and now more letters more M's very very handy with lots of my cartoons M's and C's and stuff like that very familiar shapes so he's just got to put them in a different order so those little points are where the strings are attached and I'm going to attach them to the shell so I'm just going to choose a rough point on that shell and I'm going to direct from those points down to the shell and it's like the strings that are attached to the parachute and if you can draw that parachute you can draw an umbrella because it's a very similar shape okay I'm just making lines those are like the panels in the parachute now and we can colour those, give them all different colours and shades. But it's getting to look like a really silly cartoon now. Now underneath, this is quite tricky as well, but more M's just underneath. And now like you're looking inside the parachute, it's making it look 3D. And I'll shade that in a minute to show you what I mean. And we've got a gap here. A gap for a plane. And I want you to start by drawing the, the letter D, a capital D. I was just going to do the, the tortoise, but I think we can squeeze a plane in there. Let's try. If it's too tough, just leave it as a tortoise. 
but I'm doing a D, then I'm doing a line off the top of it. You may as well give this a go. It's going to be a real basic, stupid looking plane, so don't think it's going to be anything too tricky. So that's what we're looking for so far. Top line, quite long, a shorter bottom line off that letter D. This little triangle here is the cockpit of the plane. That's where the driver's sat. And that's a, a wind showing that there's a window. Those lines are sloping forward. So if you've drawn that already, you've already got the nose and the cockpit of a plane drawn, which is pretty good going. Now for the wing, a silly little wing that would never make this plane fly, it's a letter U on a bit of a slant. Okay? It can be any shape U because it's going to look like a wing. The shape U sticking out is going to look like a wing, believe me. And just finish it off there with a nice curve. So cockpit, nose and wing already. If you're doing your best to keep up, we're doing okay. Now from the top of that cockpit there, we're going to do a nice curve. If you can follow that down as long as you like or as short as you like. I'm doing it really short because I want to I just I just want a plain shape. I just want to look like this cartoon makes some kind of sense. There's the bottom of the plane. I want to look as though this tortoise has jumped out of this plane, not just appeared from nowhere. This is the tail, like the tail fin. I don't know what it's called. Probably something completely different, but that's a similar U shape closed up but smaller. And the top of the tail goes up like an N shape and down. So that's an N shape. So now you've got the, the wing, cockpit, nose and tail. And I know it's a silly looking plane. Here's another N shape shaded in and that's a little door where he's jumped out of about 0.5 of a second ago. And if you want to add any little details onto the tail or the wing, you can do just to make it a little, a little bit more complicated looking. But it's quite simple. A couple of squares on there would be great. Uh, a couple of windows down the side. Two or three windows would look good. And there, it's looking something like a very stupid looking plane. I'm going to put a big wheel on the front for the landing gear and a... Uh, a little uh, line there just to join it up and a dot in the middle of that wheel They're just creating the effect of a rough looking aeroplane there's a little half circle there for the other wheel that you can't quite see it's like you can't see the other wing and a small wheel on the back part of the landing gear and again just a little line joining it up to the plane that'd be ideal all we need then just add a few go faster stripes let you know you're flying through the air because the the uh, tortoise is look, going to be looking like he's floating down really slowly which is about right for a tortoise surely uh, these just half circles here just very light lines show the propeller you can't actually see the propeller moving it's going so quickly oliver i hope you're watching this uh your karaoke ken that you sent in it was excellent. I'm going to send you a little bit of my work for your brilliant work. So well done for that, for joining in. And Jake, new to the new to the group, the new cartoonist for the surfer using the fish as well. I'm just shading this in now, uh, Jake. So if you're watching, I always shade the things that want to be in the background. And all these little bits, I've speeded this up a little bit just to get through as much as we can in the short time we've got. And just shade those in different colours, different shades, whatever you can. Pops, you did uh, a surfing sheet with a shark fin. Very creative, I like that a lot. So again, you're in my little list of everyone that's doing really, really well. So keep your stuff coming in. Great to see it. Feature it on the Facebook page and leave any comments uh, of what you'd like to see drawn. Or anything you'd like to see me draw. I'll find an easy way for you to draw it. I really will try my best to make it easy for you. These shady bits. I always put the background stuff in a heavier shade. Don't forget your signature. That's the important bit. Get that in there. And keep sending your comments in. Keep sending your suggestions. I'll get through as many as I can. Angie on your iPad. If there's anything you're not sure of doing on an iPad. I work on one too. So let me know if you want me to do a workshop on that. Keep it coming in, guys. Brilliant work. I'll see you tomorrow.